Hello, Dana Delkowski here from howtomechatronics.com. In this Arduino tutorial, we will learn how to use the HC05 Bluetooth module for controlling Arduino via Bluetooth communication. For this tutorial, I made two examples, controlling the Arduino using a smartphone and controlling the Arduino using a laptop or a PC. In order not to overload this tutorial, in my next tutorial we will learn how we can configure the HC05 Bluetooth module and make a Bluetooth communication between two separate Arduino boards as a master and slave devices. Before we start with the first example, controlling an Arduino using a smartphone, let's take a closer look at the HC05 Bluetooth module. Comparing it to the HC06 module, which can only be set as a slave, the HC05 can be set as a master as well, which enables making a communication between two separate Arduino boards. There are several different versions of this module, but I recommend the one that comes on a breakout board, because in that way it's much easier to be connected. The HC05 module is a Bluetooth SPP serial port protocol module, which means it communicates with the Arduino via the serial communication. Here's how we need to connect the module to the Arduino board. The particular module that I have can be powered from 3.6 to 6 volts because it comes on a breakout board which contains a voltage regulator. However, the logic voltage level of the data pins is 3.3 volts, so the line between the Arduino TX transmit pin which has 5 volts output and the Bluetooth module RX receive pin which supports only 3.3 volts needs to be connected through a voltage divider in order not to burn the module. On the other hand, the line between the Bluetooth module TX transmit pin and the Arduino RX receive pin can be connected directly because the 3.3V signal from the Bluetooth module is enough to be accepted as a high logic at the Arduino board. Ok, so now we are ready to make the Arduino code for enabling the communication between the Arduino board and the smartphone. We will make a simple example, just turning on and off a LED, but it will be good enough for understanding the communication. So first we need to define the pin to which our LED will be connected and a variable in which we will store the data coming from the smartphone. In the setup section we need to define the LED pin as output and set it low right away. As mentioned previously, we will use the serial communication so we need to begin the serial communication at 38400 baud rate which is the default baud rate of the Bluetooth module. In the loop section with the serial.available function, we will check whether there is available data in the serial port to be read. This means that when we will send data to the Bluetooth module, this statement will be true, so then using the serial.read function, we will read the data and put it into the state variable. So if the Arduino received the character 0, it will turn the LED off and using the serial.println function, it will send back to the smartphone via the serial port the string LED off. Additionally, we will reset the state variable to 0 so that the two lines above will be executed only once. Note here that the state variable is integer, so when we receive the character 0 that comes from the smartphone, the actual value of the integer state variable is 48 which corresponds to the character 0 according to the ASCII table. That's why in the if statement we are comparing the state variable to a character 0. On the other hand, if we receive the character 1, the LED will light up and the string LED on will be sent back. Now the code is ready to be uploaded, but in order to do that, we need to unplug the TX and RX lines because when uploading, the Arduino uses the serial communications, so the pins RX digital pin 0 and TX digital pin 1 are busy. We can avoid this step if we use the other TX and RX pins of the Arduino board, but in that case we will have to use the software serial library for the serial communication. Nevertheless, now we are ready to connect the smartphone to the Bluetooth module and the Arduino. What we need to do here is to activate the Bluetooth and the smartphone we will find the HC05 Bluetooth module. Now we need to pair the devices and the default password of the HC05 module is 1234. After we have paired the devices, we need an application for controlling the Arduino. There are many applications in the Play Store for this purpose which will work with the Arduino code that we wrote. 
However, I made my own custom application for this tutorial using the MIT App Inventor online application. This is a great and easy to use application for building Android applications and in my next tutorial you can find a detailed step-by-step -step guide how to build your own custom Android application for your Arduino project. Here's the application that I made for this tutorial. With the connect button we will connect the smartphone to the Bluetooth module and the status text below the button will tell us whether we have successfully connected. Now using the turn on and turn off buttons we can turn on and off the LED. The text above the buttons is the one that the Arduino is sending back to the smartphone when a particular button is pressed. You can find and download this app from my official website. Ok, next let's see how we can control the Arduino via Bluetooth using a laptop or a PC. So first we need to pair our laptop to the HC05 Bluetooth module and we can do that from the laptop Bluetooth settings. The laptop will discover the HC05 module and using the 1234 password we will pair the devices. Once we have paired the devices in the laptop device manager under ports, two new entities will appear named standard serial over Bluetooth link. From here we can see the COM port number of the serial port through which the devices will communicate. We will stick with the same example as previously, turning on and off a LED and sending back a string to the laptop. So we will use the same Arduino code as previously described. Now using the processing IDE we will make a program for controlling the Arduino. Here's the source code. So we need to include the serial library and create a serial object in order to enable the serial communication as well as define a string variable for the LED status. In the setup section we need to set the window size of the program and start the serial communication. As for the COM port number, here we need to try one of the two COM port numbers we previously noticed in the device manager. The next line defines the buffering of the serial port and in our case that's until there is a new line and actually there is a new line each time the Arduino sends the string LD off or LD on because of the println function. Next using the serial event function we check whether there is available data in the serial port to be read. If so, using the read string until function, we will read the data from the serial port which has been sent from the Arduino and in our case that's the string LED off or LED on. In the main draw function, which constantly repeats, we make all the graphics and functions of the program. So first we need to set the background color, the fill color, the stroke size and color and using the rect function, we will draw the two buttons. Using the text function we print all the text including the LED status string that's coming from the Arduino. What's left now is to make the buttons functional. So using the first if statement we can find the area of the turn on button. So when the button is pressed the character 1 will be sent over the serial port to the Arduino and that will turn on the LED. The next two lines are used to highlight the button when it's pressed. The same procedure goes for the turn off button. Now the program is ready, so when we will click the run button, the program will automatically activate the Bluetooth communication between the laptop and the Arduino. The HC05 Bluetooth module will start to flash every 2 seconds, which indicates that the module is connected and we will be able to control the LED using our laptop. That's all for this tutorial, but don't forget to check my next tutorial where we will learn how we can configure the HC05 Bluetooth module and make a Bluetooth communication between two separate Arduino boards as a master and slave devices. Thanks for watching and for more tutorials and projects visit my official website howtmechatronics.com.